Hey guys, we're going to finish up our chemical competent transformation. We put some plasma DNA into some fresh, or actually not fresh, but some competent cells out of the negative 80. We heat shocked them. We then recovered them at the 37 degrees in the shaker down in the corner. And now we're going to plate them. So what I did was I had three samples that are canamycin resistant. So that's those plates. And I have two samples that are chloramphenicol resistant, that's these plates. And I have my control. So these are cells that didn't get anything, uh, no plasma DNA in them, so I'm going to plate that as well. And that will just show us, if we get colonies on any of these plates from that control, then we can't necessarily trust our transformants. So I have already posted a video on how to plate, so I'm not going to go over it in too much detail. But I'm just going to kind of... Uh, Try to zoom through this as a quick reminder of what to do. And let's uh, grab my pipette. Uh, I have about, how much do I have in here? Uh, 150 microliters, so I'm going to set 150 microliters. Uh, I'm going to resuspend it. And 33K goes 33K. So what I do is I just uh, spread all of my all my cells out at one time. So 34 cat gets resuspended. And then plated. And I'm plating all of my cells. Some people don't do that, but I like to make sure that I get some colonies. So 35 cat. Now we're going on to the Pentacol, 34C. And I have these all pre-labeled so you don't get all confused. You just gotta remember that it's upside down. So if you label the top and you flip it upside down, you can see that it's upside down. 35C. And finally I have my control. So I'm just gonna pipette a little bit onto each plate. Um, this is a lot less than 75, so I'm just going to do a tiny spot. A spot there, and a spot there. So now all of our cells are on the plate, and we just got to spread them. So we grab our alcohol, open our alcohol, flame up our spreader, dip it in, get rid of all that excess alcohol that will kill our cells, and I'm just going to do a quick spread. I'm going to try to... Uh, dilute our cells as much as possible so that we don't get a lawn anywhere. Because lawns are no good. So that sample one has been spread. And then we have our last sample right here. So since this is a full plate, I can be a little bit more wasteful as far as space goes. And then... And we're good to go. So I'm just going to let these dry. I'm going to cap them, so cap them like that, put them upside down in the incubator, and that's a complete transformation from search to printing.